Hello, my name is Ray Williams, and I will be talking about girls' education. Girls' education is imperative for societal development. As Malala Yousafzai once eloquently put, one child, one teacher, one book, and one pen can change the world. And I truly affirm that statement. The education of the female child is integral for societal development. But why is educating the girl child so important? It is due, partially due to the inequity in education. Male children are more likely to be educated than female children. This can be seen from youth literacy rates. This is from UNESCO, Institute for Statistics and ED Stats, published July 2011. Between 2005 and 2010, youth literacy rates were much higher for males than for female children. You can see this by male youth literacy is 91.9%, while female youth literacy is falling behind by 5 Point one point being a six point eight percent. Two thirds of all seven hundred and seventy four million illiterate adults are women. Thirty three million fewer girls are in primary school. Sixty five million girls are not in school. These statistics are alarming. You can see the gender disparity which occurs within education. Boys are much more likely to be educated than girls. Girls are simply falling behind and not being educated, and they lack an education. But what are the effects of educating girls in society other than equity in education? It reduces child marriage, human trafficking, and poverty. It increases access to education for future generations and female empowerment. When women are empowered, everyone flourishes. Some reasons for the lack of access for education of girls. Distance. Sometimes schools can be too far, being miles and miles away. They don't just have a bus to hop on to go to school like American children do. Sometimes the way can be long and treacherous due to wildlife. If you've heard about recent events, Boko Haram kidnapped many girls on their way to school and from schools. So the way to get to school and being at school can be dangerous due to different organizations depending on where you are in the world. Also, the lack of money. Poverty plays a huge factor in not being able to send girls to school. When families are poor, they tend to choose the sons over their daughters. This is due to cultural beliefs that male children's education are more important than the female child. Another reason is lack of proper hygiene. Sometimes they don't have a bathroom like places here do, and so girls will miss days of school because they have no access to regular feminine hy hygiene maintenance in restrooms like we do in the United States. But how can we solve these reasons for lack of access? One way is education. Spread the importance of female education. We can all do our part in spreading the word. Financing more money going to support girls' education. The United States has an initiative called Let Girls Learn. This initiative gives one million dollars of U.S. aid in order to support female education. They educate societies on the importance of educating the female child, and also they put money into girls being able to get an education by training teachers and building schools. Thousands of girls have been educated due to the Let Girls Learn initiative that has been championed by the Obamas. What can you do? You can donate money 
to places like the Malala Fund and other places that support girls' education around the world. You can increase awareness by sharing this video and also by talking about girls' education with others and its importance in society and how it is imperative for child development. These are all of my sources that I use. And again, thank you so much for watching my presentation.